Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss an interesting problem. So suppose you have uh, all the perfect squares like uh, the square numbers: one square, two square, three square, and so on. Okay. And so there are infinitely many such squares. And now the question is that: Does there exist an infinite arithmetic progression? So can you make an arithmetic progression out of it? So it might not be like you you have to choose consecutive squares or whatever. You can choose squares from anywhere. Okay. The question is that can you get an infinite? Uh, I mean, uh, yes, of course, not finite. So can you get an infinite uh, arithmetic progression uh, out of the perfect squares? So let's see if we can have it or not. So. first of all let's try to analyze like if we have suppose three such elements like a1 square a2 square and a3 square okay three elements so let's analyze with at least three elements and they are suppose in arithmetic progression then what happens is suppose uh, you know that the basic fact about arithmetic progression like a2 square minus a1 square will be equal to a3 square minus a2 square okay so what we are having here is a2 minus a1 times a2 plus a1 is equal to A three minus A two and A three plus A two. Okay. So now you see that suppose uh, we have taken these A one, A two, A three in increasing order. So either you can take them in increasing order or decreasing order. Doesn't matter. So now I can surely say that if uh, A one uh is the smallest one then a2 then a3 then a1 plus a2 so i can compare between these two elements a1 a1 plus a2 and a2 plus a3 because with a2 i am adding a1 and there with a2 i am adding a3 so of course a2 plus a3 will be greater so to uh i mean so that the equality happens we should have then so since a2 plus a1 is lesser than strictly lesser than a3 plus a2 so it implies that for the equality to happen the other part should adjust and so you get a2 minus a1 should be greater than a3 minus a2 and next what it implies is that here if such a thing happens now if we have an infinite uh, arithmetic progression a1 square a2 square a3 square dot 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 and so on okay so then what we can do is then from this relation we can say that a2 minus a1 will be strictly greater than a3 minus a2 and that in turn would be greater than now if i did the similar uh, analysis on a2 a3 i mean a2 square a3 square and a4 square then i would have got uh, a3 minus a2 is greater than a4 minus a3 just observe the pattern 2 minus 1 then 3 minus 2 then 4 minus 3 okay and so on and so forth and now what happens is that you are getting so you see that this is positive this is positive this is positive so what you are getting is an infinitely uh, decreasing positive sequence 
okay where i mean the sequence is decreasing every term is decreasing and strictly decreasing and all the terms are positive so a2 minus a1 of course uh, that difference will be fixed right and so that will be finite and so i mean you can't have infinitely many positive integers below it and that's a contradiction and so if we took our hypothesis uh, that is suppose there exists such an infinite uh, sequence of arithmetic progressions then it leads to a contradiction and thus uh, we have proved our question so the question was asking does uh, the sequence of squares contain so no the sequence of squares do not contain an arithmetic uh, progression which is consisting of infinitely many elements so that's it for today hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching see you in the next one